To create a new bulletin, either go to File, New, New Bulletin, or click on the disclosure triangle next to the New Sheet icon and select New Bulletin. A blank bulletin is created in the Bulletin Builder. The bulletin is titled with the date and either the top of hour or half past the hour, whichever is first based on the time that you create it. You can rename it by clicking in the title box and typing in whatever you need. Make sure the bulletin is in the appropriate category for it. We'll stick ours in local bulletins. Now we find our stories using the category tree. First I'll grab some local stories, left click and drag them into the bulletin running order. You can see those with audio associated with them as well. Then I've got a couple of national stories from IRN, drag those in, position them into the correct order. As I add stories, the estimated total length increases down the bottom to give me a duration, which includes the text and associated audio. For this particular bulletin, I want to make a change to the script and I can click on the button amend for this bulletin and in the editor remove the text that I don't want to read. If I want to revert back to the original, I can just click on the red X button next to that one and that is just for that particular bulletin. Uh, whilst we're in the bulletin builder let's just have a look at the icons along the top and what they do. Uh, click here to create a new blank bulletin, here to open an existing bulletin or template and from that window you can also choose to delete a bulletin. You can save your bulletin by clicking on the floppy disk, save a copy of the bulletin with this one, print your bulletin scripts, change the bulletin settings which we'll look at in future videos, uh, a button to show that it will be read live, button to publish the bulletin to your website, edit the bulletin's recording if you've uh, set up for the bulletin to be recorded into a particular cart, and then of course the button which opens up the bulletin reader within Myriad News, enabling you to read it live off screen.